Hi everyone, this video is all about the PLM module. PLM stands for Product Lifecycle Management and the PLM module can manage the information and the processes of each step taking place in the life cycle of product. With the help of an efficient PLM module, you can trace the life cycle of your product. Odoo provides the PLM module and using this module as well, you can manage the products and its life cycle. We have much more inside the module. So without wasting any time, let's move on to the PLM module and see what are the other features. For that, let's open the PLM module. And inside the PLM overview, you get the PLM, that is the new product introduction where you can see the engineering changes and for changing the color, you can simply click on the three dots there. That's the overview. Inside the changes, you have the ECO, which is the engineering change orders. So you can create ECOs by clicking on the create button there. You can give the description here. You can set the type of ECO, that is new product introduction. Then you can set it like apply on what product only or BOA. So I'm setting it as BOM. Then you can provide the responsible person here and effective. When should it get effective? That is as soon as possible or at a date that you provide. So at a date means you have to give an effective date. So I'm putting it as as soon as possible. And here you have the option to set tags. So tags will be inside the configuration. So I'll go to I mean, I'll just discard it. Go to configuration, ECO tags, create a new tag and save it. Okay. Now, if you go to ECO, create one. Here, if you set the tag, you can choose the new one which we created. Okay. So, you can choose the type here and also you can choose the product here. So, I'm putting the product as a caustic block screen and the bill of material corresponding to the product. So I'm setting it as product only because this product doesn't have any BOM. Then you can give the notes here and also the approvals. It is the role can be specified here, the approved by status, approval date, approval stage and requested user. So the approvals can be seen here under this tab. And also we have the extra info where you can set the email CC. Now you can save it. And then you can start the revision. So this has started and it's in new state. If you want to put it in the in progress state, you can just go back, drag and drop it. Okay. Or simply clicking on the stages enables you to change the stages. If you want to apply changes, click on apply and it becomes effective. Okay. So if you just open this, you can see the ECO under effective stage. Okay, then we have the master data where you can see the products as well as the bill of materials. These are the products. Okay, you can create a product from here. Okay, here you have the general information of the product. Attributes and variants, sales, purchase, inventory and accounting. So, I'm not going much deeper into products because we have this products tab almost in every modules. Okay, so just... Going to the next place, which is the BOM, which is bill of material. So we have these much bill of materials currently. If you want to create one, click on create. Choose the product. And if you want to add the product variant, you can add that as well. And then you can add the components coming under the bill of material. So I'm adding screw. Then I'm adding bolt. And here you can set the quantity. Okay. So we've added screw and bolts. Okay, so save it. Now this is a new bill of material. Okay, so this is how you can add bill of material. And while creating an ECO, if you've chosen bill of material here, because the clock screen, that corresponding bill of material has come here. Okay, so previously when we were creating that product didn't have any bill of material. Then we have the reporting where you get the engineering change orders analysis. You have this uh, ECOs which are in effective state and under the measures you've seen, I mean, you can see the count here. If you want to change it to color or BOM revision, you can set that as well. Okay, you can see this in line chart and pie chart as well. Okay, then you have a pivot view for the same. Also, we have the filters where you can see my change orders, 
awaiting my validation awaiting validation to apply to do in progress rebase conflict done effective date bill of materials routing archived and also you can add custom filter then under group by you have the product state stage and company okay you can insert this into spreadsheet expand it flip the access and even download the excel sx then finally under uh, inside the configuration you have eco stages so these are the stages so we have seen the stages inside the ECOs, new in progress validated and effective so these are the stages here new in progress validated and effective if you want to add a new stage click on create then give the name of the stage you can add the type of the stage okay then if you, if you want it to be folded in kanban you, like what we've seen that is the effective one and all is folded in kanban you can do that and if you want to allow to apply changes you can check this and also if it's the final stage you can mark it as the final stage now approvals on each stage can be added here that is who are going to approve and all so you can give the role here and then you can choose the user okay so among these users you can use i mean choose one and if it, if he is a required approver means you can set that if comments only or approvers but the approval is optional it can be set from here so that's how you set the stage then you have the easy types so this is one type similarly if you want to create a type give the name okay and you can set the email alias for that type now this type can be used inside the issues so as you can see here is a new type which we created that's all about the pla module i hope it's very clear thank you so much for watching see you in the next video